All right. Well, it was a great, uh, a real great team win by our, our guys today. I thought we really played hard. Um, Minnesota's obviously a good football team, and uh, you know, they do a lot of things well. They're tough, but you know we thought we had a good complimentary game. We had some uh, recovered kicks well, returned them um, well, had some field position there, uh, moved the ball offensively. You know, like to score a few more points, but you know again, they give them credit. They're good defense. And, you know, I thought defensively we did a solid job. You know, I turned the ball over a couple of times, forced some punts. Um, had a fourth down stop. So, you know, overall I thought it was a good good week of preparation. Um, and we came out there and played a good complimentary game with all three units contributing. And had a lot of guys step up and play well. So, uh, hopefully we can, you know, build on that going forward. It's a good, uh, good win against a good football team. Minnesota's a good team. Bill, we know that coaching can be precarious in this league. For instance, Mike McCarthy was fired this afternoon after his game. This was your 300th regular season game coaching the Patriots. Considering how much of a tight world it is sometimes coaching in the NFL, how fortunate do you feel to be with one franchise for 300 regular season games? Yeah, pretty fortunate. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a privilege to, to coach this team, uh, to work for Robert and his family. Uh, we've got a great group of players and great support group support people here, the assistant coaches and other people in the organization make my job easier. So, uh, it's, you know, we've had a lot of, a lot of people contribute to what we do. Um, so I'm very fortunate to have a lot of good people around me. Bill, it felt like the game really turned quickly once Josh Gordon became more involved in the offense there later in the third quarter. Why did it take so long for him to get going today? Yeah, he made a couple uh, made a couple explosive plays there. Um, caught, a, caught a short pass and, and broke a tackle and then, uh, you know, came up open on the end cut. So um, that was really good good run by him after the first catch and then, you know, just matched up well. We had good protection. You know, Tom made a good throw and a touchdown pass. So plays are well executed and just came back to back. So it was great. Bill, um, prior to the second challenge, um, when you, you and Adam feeling the competitiveness there, is that just two competitive people exchanging holiday greetings? Yeah, pretty much. Bill, uh, a couple of times we saw situations where maybe you had one down lineman defensively. Uh, how important was it throughout the game to give Cousins some looks where he may not know who was coming, who wasn't. There were times when there was no safety back initially, but then that guys kind of bailed right before the play. Yeah, I thought our defensive players, uh, you know, starting with uh, defensive coaches, you know, with Flo and uh, BD, DeMarcus, Josh, Steve, these guys did a really good job this week of uh, disguising um, our, our packages on defense and with various personnel groups. Um, you know, safeties are always a big key to that because traditionally they play deep, so they were up. Sometimes they stayed up, sometimes they went back. Uh, and the linebackers, and you know, we moved around some up front, defensive line of linebackers did a nice job of uh, coordinating that, organizing it, and, and we got some good pressure, especially early in the game and, and uh, then late in the game. So it's just a real good team defensive effort. Um, coaching staff, you know, give the defensive coaching a lot of credit there and, and the players for executing it. Uh, but we were just trying to keep them off balance, force the communication. Um, I thought the crowd was into the game. We had some crowd noise in third down and passing situations there at the end of the game. So we just tried to make it tough on their offensive line. And, and um, I don't think we had some success doing that. But it was just great execution by the players. And it was a great, good plan by the defensive staff. Hey, Coach, in the middle of, um, you know, the third quarter, it was 10-10. And, you know, toward the end, you guys – you know, made a stop on defense, scored a touchdown, and made it another stop, and then got a good punt return for another. You guys made another score. That was in five minutes. Can you talk about that span of time? Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about with the complimentary football of, um, you know, playing, you know, getting good field position from the kicking game, uh, holding it on defense, uh, getting the ball back for the offense, uh, hopefully with good field position in the return game or uh, on the punt return play, however it comes up. Uh, then the offense taking advantage of that field position and you know, being able to, to bang it in, uh, kick off, good coverage, touch back, do it again. Uh, you know, you, that's how you get a, a little run, either turn the ball over or, or getting those complimentary plays from the defense to special teams to offense where you can, as you said, get, get 14 points or whatever in a short period of time. So, um, again, that, that's all, all the units doing their job, playing well together. 
playing good complimentary football. It was a great stretch for us and you know, kind of carried us the rest of the way. In that fourth quarter, uh, Bill, it seemed where second half in general seemed like you had a lot of good defensive plays, first and second down early in defensive series, allowing the defense to be even more aggressive on third down and facing, giving them the Vikings several third and long situations. How big were those first and second downs? Yeah, they were, they were huge. As we know, first and second down have a lot to do with third down. So uh, if you can make good plays on first and second down, it's, it makes third down, I don't want to say easy, but easier. Uh, it's still tough, but you got to, um, you know, when they're in those third and eights, third and nines, third and elevens, I mean, that's a lot better than third and two and third and three when they can get you with everybody. So uh, those are big stops for us. Incomplete passes, uh, high time, made a plan of screen pass early. Uh, things like that that created some long yarded situations. So, you know, I thought early down defense uh, was, you know, was good. It was competitive. They hit us on a couple runs, and those backs are good. They run hard. They make a lot of yards after contact. I mean, they're tough to tackle. Uh, and they hit us on a couple, you know, 15, 18, 20 yard runs. We've got you know, about two or three of those, uh, which, you know, we'd like to play those better. But overall, I thought we were, we were competitive. And as you said, created some long yardage, uh, both second and third down and longs. Bill, can you talk about what you guys need to do better on offense to finish drives and be better? Well, the first thing would be to get fewer penalties. You know, we we'll go, go backwards too many plays. So this is two weeks in a row. We just had, had too many penalties. So we've got to we've got to eliminate that. So that's, that's obvious. And same for the red zone, your inefficiency in the red zone. You know, I just told you that starts with that. Uh, Bill, uh, Adam Butler had a sack today and seems to be taking a bigger role overall defensively, especially on earlier downs. How much, uh, what sort of progress have you seen from him in his second year? Yeah, Adam works hard. He's a good player. Um, he's a you know, versatile guy. He does a lot of different things for us. Plays on the nose, plays on the guard, can play on the tackle, plays on a punt return team. Um, just is really whatever we ask him to do in a particular week for the game plan, whatever the role is, he's very uh, adaptable, uh, versatile player that has – I'd say multiple skills. You know, he's got length. He's got some quickness. He can, you know, play inside to outside. Um, he's a smart player that can handle a lot of different assignments. So, you know, he's he's a guy that's a, a movable part for us, and you know, gives us versatility and flexibility in our defense. Bill, um, Jason, um, Jason McCourty spent a good portion of the game covering Adam Thielen. What made him the right man for that assignment, and how would you evaluate his performance today? Yeah, well, we'll take a look at it on film. Uh, yeah, I thought overall our, our secondary played well. I don't think they had a lot of yards throwing the ball. Uh, some of that was obviously the rush. Some of it was the coverage. So, you know, overall it was, I'd say, competitive team defense uh, against the passing game. Uh, so, you know, I'm sure we'll, you know, we'll look at it. I know that, you know, we kind of, we gave a touchdown to Thielen. That was really us. You know, we screwed that up. We, we ran into him um, on the coverage. So that was really, really, you know, it wasn't Jason's fault. We just just didn't execute the play very well. Um, but you know, I thought overall our secondary played well, so you know, certainly put Jason in that box. Last question, Bill. Bill, just kind of piggybacking off that Josh Gordon question, um, I mean, for him to have no targets in the first half and then, you know, stay in it mentally and everything, is that kind of, you know, impressive, I guess, for you guys? Or uh, Look, I think everybody goes out and plays plays hard. Um, again, we don't we don't know where the balls are going to go. We don't know what coverage they're going to be in. They did a great job of mixing up the coverages. Certainly gave us a lot of split safety looks. Um, you know, changed some of the reads that we had. So, um, you know, when they when they didn't play split safety coverage, we were able to throw the hitch out there. He broke a tackle on. Uh, I don't know who was it, Cheryl's, or was out there. So, you know, that they did a good job of taking away our outside receivers with a lot of split safety coverage for a while. And then when they changed, then we were able to able to change. Uh, Tom got the 1,000 yards rushing, which I know you had mentioned in a past um, news conference. Do you have any thoughts on? Yeah, that's really important to us. That's great. Okay, thank you. <laughs>